Hello everybody and welcome once again to Mechanism 110. Coming to the end of the series, but there are a few other items we need to deal with because we've finished the, we've done the ore processing, so we've managed to finish all of that stuff. We've done all the power generation right up to the water cooled reactor and I moved the induction matrix over here. So what we've got left are some other bits and pieces. So I've built some of those in preparation. In fact, I'm going to build this and second one of these, that's the laser, and some laser amplifiers and some tractor beams. I'll have a look at those first, I think. I want the quantum entangler porter as well. So the, I'm not going to go and do all these recipes because that's probably a little bit dull, but let's have a look at this one here, the recipe for this one, because I want a second one of these. So we need three reinforced, three reinforced, I can't say it, three reinforced alloys, two energy tablets, one machine frame and one diamond. So one diamond should be no problem. One machine frame I haven't got there. Um, two energy tablets, that's six gold enriched alloy and redstone. And a machine frame, have I got a spare machine frame? Maybe in mechanism parts. No, I haven't, I'll have to make a machine frame. I think that's uh, four steel, one osmium and four glass, if I can re remember things correctly. So let's have a look, go back to that again. I did get that right. And we need energy tablets. Let's have a look at that again. Two of those. So we should then be able to actually, oh no, did I pick up? I didn't pick up the reinforced alloys. Now I should be able to build a second one of these. Like that. The recipes for the laser amplifiers, that's the wrong one. Try again, that's that's the track to be. So the laser amplifiers was this one. So that's a basic energy uh, cube surrounded by, well, one diamond and steel ingots, either from funnels or mechanism. And this one was a personal chest on top of a laser amplifier. So let's go and have a look at what we can do with these machine, these items. Well, so far we've used them in the reactor. Let's just hop over this thing here and here. So what we could do here is to add more lasers. So in this particular case, I've got a laser tractor beam. Don't ask me why, but I could use a second laser amplifier down here. And we can extend that as many times back as we want to, to speed up the actual charging of the laser amplifier ready to start the reactor. I'm patient. I don't really care if it takes one hour, two hours or three hours to do the job. So what we can do here is we can come along here. Let's do it like this. I'm going to make a tunnel. So I'm going to put down two lasers like this. In fact, I have to be facing the way I want to be. So I want to put them, say, down like that. And a second one, which is probably needs to be here, down like that wrong it went in the wrong place let's pick it up again is this in wrench mode no wrong one we're in wrench mode now let's try that again i've got these two things being replaced let's put it say uh, i want it here can i put it here and there we go so there we've got those two lasers let's connect those two up and i would like some cable for doing that so we've got say a basic universe we've got four elite cables down here let's put those down like this so they're now connected up i'm not going to put a lever here and make this into redstone mode so i think i can just simply do any of the configurator modes to turn the redstone sensitivity on which i can in the in the magic box i should have one lever at least so i've got one of those like that and put the lever down, say here. We can put the lever there. Turn that on, and that disconnects the, the power, which is rather useful. Because then, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this quantum entangler porter. On the other end of the quantum entangler porter, it's connected to the steam uh, to the reactor, like that. And this is now configured. We need to set this to power. So we then have a look at the energy side of this. So the back side is configured to energy outputting and the front side. 
So this should be the front side and the other should be the back side. Let's have a quick look. Go to energy mode and see here this is the out output and this is also an output. So when I turn this on now, you'll see these two laser beams are going down there, digging up the digging up the blocks. Turn it off again. Like that. So they were quite happily making up a nice little tunnel through here. In fact, let's do that again. But this time, we're not going to use those. We're going to use the laser amplifiers on the front of them. But they, they still give you power. I need to move the tractor beam out of the way. Like that. And if you now right-click these, you get an interface. So here we have no delay, minimum, maximum. I'm going to leave it as it is to start with. And we'll just turn the switch on again and see what happens. So this time it's doing the same thing. Turn it off again. Now, let's change this delay to say 20. On that one and say um, th uh, 25 on this one. Like that. And that's much what happens when I turn this on. So nothing happens and these are now pulsing. And they're still digging holes in the in sand here. Let's turn those off. And you'll see here, lots of sand being picked up and sandstone. So it's, it's digging its way through this mountain slowly. But it's a bit of a nuisance having to go and pick everything up. And that's what the tractor beams are for. I've got two choices. I can either replace the existing laser amplifiers there with the tractor beams, or I could put a tractor beam in front of it, like that. And then turn this on. Now this time it's doing the same thing. I haven't moved those, so they're still pulsing independently. Turn that off. You don't want to stand in the way of those, by the way. They will uh, kill you quite happily. There's no blocks being dropped. Ah, so where are the blocks? Well, the recipe for the tractor beam was a, was a laser amplifier plus a personal chest. So if we right-click these, sure enough, all the items that are dug up are in the personal chest like this. I can take that. You can actually put in or out. It's quite nice in, in that laser tractor beam. What I'm going to do now is to move these out of the way again. Go back to wrench mode. Pick up these two. And pick up these two too. Because um, what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to put the laser and um, the tractor beams on the front of this like this. And I'm going to turn that on and let it do its work. While that's working away, I'm going to go to the other side of the hill and see what happens. Hopefully it's long enough. I think it is actually. You can hear it digging away. And we shall wait over here somewhere. In fact, what I do need actually while I'm thinking about this, I do need some sand. Let's just pick up some sand. too far back actually yes I think it's finished but what you can also do with this and this is I find really quite neat it gives you lots of potential let's go to the end of this tunnel here I'm sure it's finished. It's a bit dark. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to put these two other laser amplifiers down. So let's just dig uh, a little bit over here. Good, I can do that. And let's just put down a torch for the sake of it for the time being so we can see what we're doing. Now let's put these two laser amplifiers down here like this. One down there and then one down. Oh, I've got to get into that place. That There we are. Now I can't get out, of course. That's very clever. So let's just get out of the way hoping there was no sand above my head. And now let's turn these two on. So 
So what's going to happen now, so I think I've got it in the right place. I'm not 100% sure if I have to be at the end of the tunnel one block back. We shall see. Can we hear any digging? I'm not sure I can hear any digging. I'll tell you what I'll have to do. I'll have to go back again and turn it off. Maybe I should even have a sleep, actually, because it is night time, and there will be mobs spawning around here. It is working. It's actually gone all the way through the mountain here, look. And I just didn't see it come out. Maybe I was too impatient. Let's turn them on again. We should see the light. We should see the, uh, the lasers come through the other side of this mountain here. That's definitely not 64 blocks. It it does mind about 64 blocks, so we should see. Where was that now? As a creeper. Can we be ready? That's very strange. Oh, maybe it's just a view. <laughs> maybe it's not so strange. That's what happens if you stand in the way of the lasers. <laughs> it sets you on fire. But fortunately, my armor's reasonably powerful, so it didn't do too much damage. Just set me on fire. Fire. <laughs> but you can use these things for doing all sorts of things. You could have them as a use them for a mob grinder if you wanted to. Um, so you can quite happily. Anything you know, also know that anything there's nothing in spawned in this tunnel in those few seconds, so there's going to be no mobs around here. And if there were, they'd be dead, so that's fine. In fact, I will put a torch down here just to make sure that we've got no mobs. I'll just press F7 as well, make sure they're not going to be going to be spawning around here too much. I don't need too many shocks of the skeleton around us as well. I can hear the skeleton. Like that. So I'm going to move these out of the way. And pick up the remaining items here. Like that. So, so as you can see the lays oh look at that. I've got lots of yet little yellow zones, that's really not cool. And there's a there's a skeleton, let's just sort him out. I've got knockback on this as well, so that helps. Right. He gave me a shot, and there's another one over here. Let's let's make sure we do that. And put a torch on top of here, and that didn't work. Put one down there. I think that's got most of the areas. I'm not quite. Look at that. Another one over there. Right. It would be actually nice if the glow panels had a bit of a larger range than what well, they're just basically the same as a torch. But um, they look better, but they're a bit more. They're a bit expensive way in a way for for lighting up a large area. It'd be nice if they did a lot, a bit of a larger area than what they are doing. Anyway, so that was lasers. So as you can see, they're very, very useful. You can do all sorts of things with those. And I'm gonna put those back again now. Let's do it the fast way. Two lasers. Now there are some more items in here that I want to look at. Let's have a look at these three. These are actually, at the moment, a buggy. In fact, they ain't working properly. I think the first one, which is the fences, has been fixed. If I put the fences down here, these are white fences, but they're black, white plastic barriers, as you can see. And in fact, 
the current, oops, too hard. And the current version I've got, let's put that down the bottom there, like that, pick up the other bit. And the current version I've got, you can't actually craft anything else. So let's have a look at this one for crafting. This is all to do with, um, here we go, white plastic barriers. Let's have a look at the recipe for that. This is um, some white plastic blocks and some plastics. So the white plastic blocks are basically, you get four for eight PDF sheets. And the plastics here, the recipe for that is two HDPF, HDPE rods. And the recipe for that is four pellets. Now what I can do here, is I have not yet done it, which is good. As I said, in fact, I don't need to go very far away. I have them with me here. So on the in here, I've got what they call a restrictive transporter. There is the opposite of the restrictive, which is the diversion transporter. What I found, if I put this down here like that, and put this on this, say, this connecting to this chest here like that. So what's going to happen is items coming out of here, which is PDF um, e pellets, will go into the enrichment chamber here. And then when it overflows, the rest will go into this chest like this. So let's have a look at doing some of that. I've got some rotting, I've got some rotting flesh on me. I can put that in and that will get crushed and converted to. And as you can see, it's coming here and it's getting converted to pellets. Because this thing, I think is because it's, let's have a look. Have I even got this configured correctly? So the backside is actually an input. That's fine, yes. And the output on this one was actually on the right hand side. Let's just turn that off. See, I've got some more pellets in there, I think. I think think they came to this. That's actually turned off. Let's turn it on again. And let's go and get some more stuff. For that. Uh, probably the best thing to do is to go and take some biofuel out of here. And what we also need to put that in would probably be the best would be another bin, I think. No, a hopper will be fine. I've got a hopper here, so that's good. I probably should press shift it when I'm doing that. So what I can do here is instead of having to what's gonna happen here is it oh yes it wants to be oh yes I know what I'm doing wrong, sorry. This takes the this takes the biofuel and converts that. This converts that. So what I need here is another bin. So I'm gonna to have to quickly make a bin because I don't think I've got one with me. I've forgotten the reckon uh, I've forgotten the recipe. But we want just a basic bin. That's cobblestone one and one of those. That's cobblestone I don't have, but I've got that there and vanilla parts no actually let's just building bits no i haven't i just have to pick up some out of the chest here out of this bin i think that's fine five i didn't actually really want to make another bin in this episode but for the purposes of demonstration this is a really good this is really quite a useful one if you need to get things into things which are already being processed which is this case that we have so we're going to put the bin down like that and we're going to fill it with biofuel like that right double click it's got 192 in it so now we need to check this to reconfigure eight items and simply uh, i think we just have to simply right click that like that with a bit of a look, I'm hoping to see PDF pellets coming into here. That's actually odd. Take those what we've got, put those into here. It's not what it's not doing what I expected to do. I expected this to come into here until this filled up with twenty nine and then stopped. Like that. 
but it's not. Anyway, I was coming back to the uh, to the plastic barriers, wasn't I? So let's have a look at uh, plastic barriers. So you've got these other ones. Uh, this is a black plastic barrier, but there's no recipes for these at the moment. I think that'll be fixed in the next release or two. The only one that's a recipe was the white one. All the rest of them are just no recipes. So you can't actually make those at the moment. Anyway, the next item, let's just put that away in here. Don't need that. That's from the other one, is the seismic vibrator. In fact, let's put away this fences as well. We don't need to fill our inventory with stuff if we don't need it. And this is this one. So you put this down somewhere and this is supposed to vibrate the ground. Now it needs power, so I've got power. We can do that from an energy cube or whatever we want. But I've actually got some energy cubes ready to go in here. I've got an elite one. And what you can do is simply put it, I think you can put the power into here like that. that so it's, now it says it's vibrating. You can also do this as well. You can take the an energy portal or uh, quantum entangler portal like this and simply put that on there let's set that to power and set that we know that the output's working let's come along and take the energy cube out of here now and it's still vibrating now the next thing let's put that energy cube down here because I do actually need it what I need it for is this the seismic reader at the moment it's got no power in there so if I try to use a seismic reader it says not enough power to interpret vibrations so if I now put it into here can charge it up fairly quickly. Only takes a few seconds, fortunately. So now I can put it down here. Now the next thing we'll put on um, F9 to turn on the chunk barriers like this. And you'll see there's a chunk barrier here. So if I'm outside that chunk, which I am now, where the vibrator is, and I right click this, it says unable to discover vibrations. So if I'm now inside this chunk and right click this, it should show you everything that's below me at the moment. But unfortunately, it's not working. All I'm getting is air. But I'm sure that's it's been reported as a bug, so it'll get fixed in the future time. So let's just put this back to wrench. And pick up these items so that was that one but it should give you a nice chart of what's actually below you so let's put those back into this chest here what have I used I've used the seismic vibrator and the reader so what do we have left well we've got the robot this is actually quite an interesting thing. I haven't used it at all. Probably should have done, but I haven't. And the recipe for the Robit was reasonably high. It's a reasonably high one. It's, it's energy cubes, personal chest, and the atomic alloys, which basically that's diamonds and uh, obsidian for this one. It's in compressed diamond, diamond dust. So it's not the first item you can build. And you can't simply right click it down like this. What you can have do is put it onto a charge pad like this and then have a look at its interface. It's already charged up. Telling it's telling it I'm the owner and it's following is false. So let's turn the F, that means follow mode on. What else we got? We name this Robit. I'll leave it as it I'm Robit will do fine. And then we can toggle drop pickup mode. So at the moment it's drop pickup is false. And the last one is teleport back home. But there are other interfaces down here on the right hand side. So what have we got? This is the home window. And here is a crafting window. So you can actually craft with the robot. So let's go and the robot's in follow mode, so it should follow me. There we go. So now I want to craft something. I can craft it, just like a portable crafting table. It's also got its inventory, which so it can store items. We can put stuff in like that. Um, and uh, it's good. So you actually can smelt stuff as well. So let's just take a piece of sand out of here, go into the smelting event and put it into there. 
Ah, it needs power. It needs fuel. So let's go and get some fuel. Actually, one piece of... Let's take two pieces of charcoal. Oh, there he is, beside me. Let's put the fuel in here and one piece of glass. And sure enough, it will smelt that piece of sand into glass. I said that wrong. Never mind. Just like that. So it's a sort of pretty portable multiple tool. And here is the last one where you can do repairing items and renaming. So it's like an anvil. So it's got quite a few functionality, bits of functionality. What it doesn't do, and I don't know whether this works or not. Let's go outside. It should be following me. Good it is. I'm not sure how it copes with going over water. In fact, you can hear its foot. I can hear its footsteps. So over here we've got some water. Let me turn my jetpack off because I want to swim rather than fly. I should put that down there. I'm not sure if the robot will keep keep with me when I'm doing this. Oh, he does good. Fantastic. So now I can right click him and say, okay, teleport back home. And he's gone, back home. Let's follow him with this one. So let's go to the compound and teleport there. Oh, wrong place. Actually, I'm in the right place. I just linked these two together. So there we go. And of course the robot's come back and he's charged himself up. What I didn't do. Ah, let's just fix that. I should have in front of this door a, um, pressure plate for some reason I haven't got a pressure plate there let's put one down here like this so it actually closes the door okay so now when I go out here the door will close can the robot get through no in fact let's double check the is in following mode following false let's put him back to following mode and go through this door again Oh, he can actually. He, of course, he'll open the pressure plate. So that works quite nicely. Let's go back here and teleport back home. Hmm, compound. I don't think the robot can come through here. He's there. Oh, he did teleport through the wall. That's good. But I know he won't be able to do this, so... I hope he'll come here, but he won't appear. He'll, st he'll still be at back at home. Let's go back. You see, there he is. He couldn't get through that bit. But the rest of the stuff he follows you nicely, and it's really quite a cool tool. It's a bit like the um, Open Blocks luggage with a few more fun with some more functionality. Let's get him back home again. There we go. Right, that's it for this episode. In the next episode, I'm going to cover some more bits and pieces. Let's have a look what I want to cover. I want to cover balloons and the security desk and the or diction <laughs> the dictionary and the or dictionificator. Wow, what a mouthful. So until then, I'm going to say bye for now. <laughs>